Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football today. We are talking about how the Las Vegas Raiders win the 2024 NFL Draft. Seven rounds, the whole shebang. Let's do this thing, dive straight into it. The Raiders sit at 13 overall in the draft. Let's see what falls to them. We know they need a quarterback, but we can't just force that at hand. I think we understand how this thing goes. We can't just draft quarterback at 13 or trade up immediately like that. Let's see what falls to us. That's the best way to do these things. If the Heisman somehow made it past six, which I see no way in hell happening, at seven, we are going to get this guy. Raiders, we're going to get the Heisman. No questions asked. We'll send them um, send them a third and next year's fifth. We happy? I don't care if that's fair or not. We're forcing the trade. We're getting up there. Forced to trade. Here come the Raiders. We want the Heisman. Jaden Daniels, welcome to the squad. He's going to look great in black and silver. Let's keep it going all the way to our next pick, which is going to be at 44 overall. Raiders fans, we got our guy. We have the future at quarterback. We got the Heisman himself. Now, as you see right here, we have to build around this dude fast and quickly. I think with our brand new quarterback, we have to make sure he's secure and safe and get some old line around this dude. Now, we have a bunch of needs we need to fill. And a lot of our picks are after 140 and on. I would like more picks within the top 100. Let's see what we can do. Let's see who's calling on the phones. Who wants to trade with us? New York Giants, what do you got? Not a ton, no thank you. Tampa Bay? Solid. I like Tampa Bay's capital a lot. Very solid. What about the Cardinals? Cardinals got a bunch of capital. What about Minnesota? Minnesota, not really. So it's between the Cardinals and Tampa Bay. Let's trade 44 Let's go all the way back to Arizona so we can get a bunch of picks. We want 66, 71, throw us 90, and we'll throw you one. And we'll throw you 112, and next year's six, and next year's fourth. Cool. Let's do it. I don't know if this is accurate, but we are going to force this trade. I want more picks within the top 100. Let's do this thing. All right, y'all. We are on the clock with a bunch of new set of picks. We got 90, 71, and 66. Let's build a round our brand new quarterback in Jaden Daniels. And we got to protect him above everything else because you've seen what happens when this dude gets hit. He goes flying. We got to keep him upright and off the ground. With that being said, we're going O-line. No questions asked. What are the best prospects on the board? Blake Fisher and Haynes. Fisher might be there at 71. I hope he is. If so, we will snipe him. Right now, we'll take Haynes, the guard, out of Connecticut. Let's see what happens next. Back at pick 71. And guys, Blake Fisher has slid all the way to us. The tackle out of Notre Dame, no, he's not Joe Alt, but the dude is a very good player. We need to protect our brand new quarterback. Let's take Blake Fisher and waste no time. This is our last pick within the top 100 picks, 90 overall. Who do we want here? It's saying we need defensive interior. I don't quite agree with that. We just got Wilkins, and I like him a lot as a player. The best prospect on the board, I think it's Renardo Green. This guy's a stud, the cornerback out of Florida State. And, dude, that is not DBU, but they are definitely Tier 2 DBU. They just produce DBs all day long. Let's take Renardo Green as it is a need on our defense. All right, y'all, we are back on the clock at 148. And after that, it's just straight 200 picks all the way to the finish line. This is our last very good player that we can snipe right here in the fifth round. Who do we want here? Lots of good players on the board. You know, you guys know I like Zach Zinter, very good player. I like Theo. I like Holker. I like Taj Washington. There's a lot of good players on this board. Now, they say we need interior. I don't quite agree, but we can develop somebody behind Christian Wilkins and Mason Smith. I took him in the last draft. I don't really care. Mason Smith has got all the talent and the highest ceiling in the world. And who better to learn from than Christian Wilkins himself? Mason Smith, you are a Raider. Let's make this thing happen. All right, y'all, we are in the 200 zone. If you don't know what that means, we're taking the best player available. We need to get the best guy on our roster. And luckily, this guy, Zion, out of Georgia, fits our needs as well. We could pick him. We could pick him. We could go Hunter, the center out of Penn State. Who do we want to take here? We got three picks left. We got lots of options. Let's go with Zion, the defensive interior player out of Georgia. Welcome to the team. I'll see you guys at 223. We now have two picks left, basically back-to-back, -back, six picks apart. How do we want to finish this draft? We need a running back. I didn't go crazy on a running back just because they're not necessities in today's league, as we know. They're not treated the same as they used to be. GMs flat out hate them, if we're being honest, but we do need a running back, so let's get one we like right here. Maybe two. Maybe we double dip at running back. Maybe we go crazy. Rasheen Ali. I like Rasheen a lot. This dude's a freak athlete. Carson. I like Carson. I also like Jahar Jordan. Let's go with Rasheen Ali. He had a great senior bowl. We have our placeholder running back. Maybe he's going to be better than that, but we're looking good there. And then for our final pick of the entire draft, let's pick a center and let him develop. Dylan at a North Carolina State. Welcome, brother. The Wolfpack, you are a Raider. Let's wrap this draft up. Raiders fans, this 
is my mock draft. We had two trades today. Let's review. So we're sitting at 13, right? And the Heisman somehow slides past the Giants. So at seven overall, we say, hey, we're coming to get our guy. We send our third round pick in the round five next year. I don't know if these trade values are accurate, but I went up to get our guy. We got Jaden Daniels, the Heisman, our brand new quarterback in Las Vegas. Next, I looked at all our picks and we had a lot of needs and not a lot of capital in the top hundred. So I said, hey, who was willing to trade? The Cardinals were definitely willing to trade. They wanted to trade up about 20 picks, and we got 66, 71, and 90. I absolutely love that. Give me that all day long. And from there, it was build around our quarterback. We got Christian Haynes, the great guard out of Connecticut. Blake Fisher, tackle two on Notre Dame. Bernardo Green at cornerback. Mason Smith and Zion for the interior D-line. Rashina Lee to be a placeholder running back and hopefully something better someday. And Dylan McMahon, the center, to hopefully merge into something great out of North Carolina State. Guys, this is is my mock draft. What did you think? What would you change? Did you like all these trades? Did you think they were dumb? Did you think they were smart? Were you happy we got the Heisman himself, or would you rather sit back and maybe got McCarthy or something like that? Let me know all in the comments below. If you guys watched this far in the video and you enjoyed it, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously with all these videos I'm making. If you enjoyed this seven round mock draft video I did for the Raiders, I'm making one for every single team in the entire league. Go subscribe below for more content just like this. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon, not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip, tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you were marking these guys off as the draft goes by, and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me watching this video and going through this seven-round mock draft for all these teams. I appreciate y'all more than you know. Have the best day. Love y'all. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List, and this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God tier. Y'all know their names, say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU and Malik Neighbors out of LSU.